Hey, it's Tim Maria here live at CES. You can see thousands and thousands of people here. It's a true zoo. It's, it's a true it's zoo. A human zoo. <laughs> and uh, fabulous to meet you. This is Alexandria Von Plato with uh, a small agency I've heard called, <laughs> <laughs> um, why do you tell everybody what you do? Um, I'm the president and global chief creative officer for Digitas oh, Health yeah. and also the Publicis Healthcare group of agencies that includes Life Brands and um, Medicus. So I worked with the World Advertising Congress for a while and have some of the same perspective that you have and it's, it's kind of interesting to hear, hear why you're here. I'm here because I really see the intersection of healthcare and technology from a product standpoint really maturing up and that we see a lot of products that really have viability, they're beginning to get the right level of funding, and what we think they need is real sophisticated marketing strategy. Yeah. And a lot of these products are developed by entrepreneurs and technologists, they're not really marketing savvy, but we are really invested in that intersection between tech and healthcare, and we really want to help a couple of these products who we believe are really viable, find their market in a really you know, meaningful, impactful, engaging way. And that's why we're here to try and help some of these brands and products really maximize their opportunity through marketing. I heard you had a big bulldog on a treadmill. Yeah. I actually had a, I opened my talk with a picture of a kind of heavyweight guy, I would say, um, and his dog was using his treadmill while he watched TV in his underwear. And um, I use that to emphasize the fact that people already know how to lose weight. They know how to take care of themselves. There's really not an information problem here. There's really not a technology problem here. There's a motivation problem. Yeah, yeah. So if you're going to connect with that customer, which is really the customer everybody's aiming at, um, you got to really find something that's meaningful to him that's going to be engaging to him or her. And that's really where marketing strategy and healthcare comes in. For the entrepreneurs out there creating this new layer of technology, what is, what is the secret sauce from your perspective? Well, I think there are some things that are actually missing in their product design. You know, we see this okay. line blurring between what is the product and what is the marketing. Okay. And that we actually have to build into the product levels of engagement. And I, you know, I talk about... I talk about Zombies Run as a really nice example of a healthcare app which really uses narrative storytelling to really engage you in the gaming aspect of it and get you up and moving in a way that you're really part of the story. So things like you know design in the product that's designed to get people more engaged, the right kind of leveraging of the doctor or the healthcare provider so that people can hear from their doctor and get the kind of reinforcement that they need to use this particular product or to engage in a particular behavior. These are all you know, different aspects of designing the product as well as marketing the product. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, what are you personally trying to get out of the event? I mean, I like to come to CES because it is a human zoo, as I said earlier, yeah. and it is you know, where you see everybody's investments being laid on the line. Um, there are a lot of big bets that are placed here. You get to see where everybody is heading and where they're pointing technology. And I just love the fact that health and healthcare has become a bigger and bigger part of this conference because it's really that intersection of health and tech that you know is a really big opportunity. It's a big opportunity for, for companies uh, who are making products. It's a great opportunity for designers because yeah, I think yeah. that the next big design innovation is gonna come in making the health conversation and the health experience one that's better and more vital and more engaging. And it's a great opportunity for marketers. And like speaking to Dr. Huxton, we have to do it. We have to change behavior. Yeah, I mean, we see that, you know, part of what's driving this, we've been saying people have to do it and they should just want to do it. Well, we know that they don't just want to do it. But there are a couple other things in the environment that are interesting now. We think that there's social pressure to actually get healthy. You know, I talk about Look what happened to smokers in the last decade. Yeah. You know, it was it was a great fashion statement to be a smoker, you know, not that long ago. And now you're a pariah if you're trying to smoke in a bar yeah. or a restaurant. Yeah. You know, are we going to have that same kind of feeling about pressurizing people to take better care of themselves because the system needs them to take a certain kind of accountability? It costs us all money as a society if we're not taking better care of ourselves and our family. And I think those kinds of pressures are going to be brought to bear and really help accelerate the development of some new innovation and technology. Yeah. I must say I have the best job here because I get to 
have on tap people with such a great global perspective as you do and learn so much. So thanks for being on the show, Alexandria. Well, maybe I can have your job someday. <laughs> okay, we'll trade. Okay. Thank you. I'll come to New York.